In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. One God. Amen. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. One God. Amen. In the name of the Father. And the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. My fathers, priests, my brothers, deacons, my fathers, my mothers, my sisters, my brothers, and all of you who are the children of the Lord, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the name Amen. In the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, be pleased, worship, and glorify together with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever in the ages of ages, Amen. May the intercession, the blessing, the grace of the Holy Virgin Mary and all the saints and all the angels be with us all. So, whose story have we been learning? Recently, yes. Abraham. Very good. So, now we have finished the story of Abraham. Do you remember last week? Who, who, who remembers what we learned last week? Who remembers? Yes, what did we learn? Who remembers what we learned last week? Yes. Possibly. That's a week before. Last week. Remembers. We were talking about sacrifice. Yes. Say that again. Abraham and Sarah. Yes. Yes. Who was it? What? Who was Abraham asked to sacrifice? Yes. Is that okay? God tested Abraham, and how did he do that? Yes. He told him to sacrifice his son. And then he went up to the mountain to sacrifice his son, and when he was about to sacrifice, what did God tell him? He told him, no. And what did he give him instead? He gave him a sheep, a lamb that he can Sacrifice. But what was the lesson for Abraham? What was the lesson for Abraham? Yes. To trust God. Very good. To trust God. Go ahead. Who was it truly? Who was who was the one that was going to sacrifice his son? Who was it? Yes. Yes, but who, he didn't sacrifice his son. Who was it? Yes. God. And who was it being sacrificed? Yes. Jesus Christ. So Abraham was learning that God is going to sacrifice his son for him. Did God sacrifice his son for us? Yes or no? Did God sacrifice his son for us? Yes or no? Who is that over there? Jesus Christ. He is the Son of God. The Son of God. And God sacrificed because He loved us so much, He gave us His Son for our sins, for our evil, for the bad things we do. Our Lord was sacrificed for us. Are you with me? It's hard to give your Son, right? But God loves you so much that He gave His only Son for you. Yes. We are the children of God because we were adopted through the Son of God. We are His children because, because of His Son. Okay? We are His children by grace. He is His Son by nature. What does grace mean? 
gift. God gave us so that we are His children. So all of us, we are His what? We are His children. He also, He though, He is His Son by nature. Meaning, the Son of God is also God. Human being, if a human being gives birth, what does a human being give birth to? A dog? A cat? What does a human being give birth to? Yes. What is it? Yes. Yes. A human. Human gives birth to? Human. How about a dog? Cat? Dog, right? How about a cat? How about a cat? Cat, right? How about a sheep? A lamb? But the Son of God, because He is a child of God, He gave birth to God. So the Son of God is also God. Does that make sense to you? So the Son of God is also God. But we are His children by grace. By grace means He treats us as His children. He gave His Son for us and made us His children. Does that make sense to you? So we are His children. Very good. Today we're going to talk about Isaac. Who's Isaac? Who's Isaac? Who's Isaac? Yes. Abraham's son. Very good. Isaac is Abraham's son. So Sarah? Who's Sarah? Abraham? Very good. Abraham's wife. So, Sarah, she dies before Abraham. Unfortunate. Because every, everyone will die, right? So, as Sarah died before Abraham. And Abraham buried Sarah. Abraham was so sad to lose his wife. And Isaac was sad to lose his mom. Very good. Isaac was sad to lose his mom. So before Abraham died, he wanted to get a wife for his son. So today's topic is called a bride for Isaac. Can you say it again? A bride. A bride. Say, 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 repeat what I say. A bride, a bride, a, a bride, a bride for, Isaac. for Isaac. Very good. So you'll find the story. We're not gonna. It's a very long story. We're only gonna go over half of the story today. And next week we'll finish. Come back next week. We'll finish the other half of the story. It's a very long story. I invite you to go to Genesis chapter 24. Genesis chapter what? Which book, uh, do you know which book is Genesis? It's in the Bible. It's the first book in the Bible. Okay? Genesis. Genesis chapter what? 24. This is where you'll find the story. We're going to start reading. Okay? Genesis chapter 24. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in age. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Can we say this? I want to ask to say this. And the Lord has blessed Abraham in all things. Remember what Abraham did for the Lord? He was obedient. He was Faithful. He was, he gave his own son to who? To God. So what did God do? Do to him? He blessed it in all things. Are you with me? All things. Spiritually, materially, and everything. He blessed Abraham. Do you want to be blessed by God? Do you want to be blessed by God? Do you want to be blessed? By your Creator, be yes. blessed by the One who created the whole universe. Yes. Then be faithful to Him, obedient to Him, love Him. 
sacrificed all things for his sake. And he will, he will bless you. Just like he blessed Abraham, he will also bless you. So God bless Abraham in all things, in everything. He blessed him. So Abraham said to the oldest servant in his house, Are you guys with me? And Abraham said to the oldest servant in his house, Who ruled over all he had, Put your hand under my thigh. I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, the God of the earth, that, that you will not take a wife from my son Isaac, from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell. But you shall go to my land where I was born, and to my tribe, and take from there a wife from my son Isaac. Do you remember when God asked Abraham to leave his family, to leave his land, to leave everything, and to go to where he served him? Do you remember? Remember? So he went to the Canaanites. But where he was born was far away. But God had told him, don't go back to where you came from. Who told him that? God. But Abraham wanted a wife for his son from the land where he was born. From where did he want a son, uh, a wife for his son? From the land where he was born. But he cannot go. His son cannot go, but then he sends who? His servant. And he makes him swear that he, you should not get a wife from the land that I'm in, but from the land where I was born. So go and get a wife from there. That's what he was he said to him. How hard is that? How many of you think how hard is that? If a person is going to go to a faraway land and he's, he's looking for a wife and he has to bring her. But the, the family, the person, they don't know where she's going, to who she's going, so they have to trust the servant. How hard do you think that is? It's very difficult. It is an, an impossible mission. Are you with me? The mission is, it's a mission impossible. Why? Because he's going to go to a land where he cannot take the group, but he's going to have to bring a bride from that land, and the family has to leave. So, the serpent, he said this to Abraham. Perhaps the woman would not be willing to follow me to this land. Is that a reasonable question? Perhaps you will not be willing to follow me to the land. Must I then take your son back to the land he came from? See, he's asking, like, can I take your son? Because if I take your son, maybe it's easier to find a wife for him. But without him, it's hard. But Abraham said to him, be aware that you do not take my son back here. Why? Because who ordered him not to go back? God. The Lord, the God of heaven, and the God of the earth, who, who took me from my father's house, and from the land where I was born, and who spoke to me and swore to me, saying, To you and your seed I give this land. He will send his angel before you. And you shall take a wife from my son from there. And if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be released from your office. Only do not take my son back here. So the servant put his hand under the tie of Abraham his Lord and swore to him concerning this matter. So do you see the faith of Abraham? What is he saying to him? God will send an angel with you so that you can find a wife for my son. Do you remember what Isaac did? What did Isaac do for God? He was going to be sacrificed for God, wasn't he? He was going to give himself to God to be sacrificed for God. Because of that, 
Do you think God will bless Isaac? Are you with me? Will God bless Isaac? Yes. So is he going to give him a wife? Is God going to give him a wife? Yes. So this is the work of God. By the way, when you serve God, when you sacrifice your time, your energy, your life, your knowledge, your education, for the service of God, who will bless you? Who will bless you? God will bless you. Uh, Isaac sacrificed himself for God. So God blessed him. And if we sacrifice ourselves in terms of our time and our energy and our, our, our knowledge and everything that we are for God and we serve Him, then God will bless us. God will bless us. So God, it is God's job itself to find a wife for Isaac. He made his, his mission. Whose mission? God's mission. Is mission impossible? Impossible for God? Is it is this impossible for God? Is this impossible for God? So for God, all things are possible. Yes. Jesus is God because he is the son of God. And there is a concept of the incarnation. Jesus is fully man and fully God. Fully human and fully God. Can you say it with me? Because Jesus is? Jesus is? Fully man and fully God. fully God. Okay? So you have perfect God and perfect man. Okay? So he united with us. So man and God united, you have Jesus Christ. So, so this, this impossible mission was whose mission I, did I say to you? God's mission. So God sent an angel with the servant of Abraham. He sent an angel. So the servant took ten of his Lord's camels. How many camels? How many camels? Who knows what a camel is? What's a camel? Yes. Something that you could take? To the desert. Very good. It's an animal, right? How much, do you know how much water animals, uh, camels drink? A little bit? Yes. Huh? A lot, right? A camel drinks how much water? A lot of water. Because because they live in the desert. How how often do you find water in the desert? So if they find water, they can drink a lot and keep it with them. So they drink a lot of water. Yes. They got water from cactus in the desert. Very good. So the camels, they drink how much water? A lot of water. And how many how many camels is he taking? Ten camels. So he goes with his ten camels. You have a question? What happened? They keep a lot of water so that they have they, they can use it for a long time. Okay? So they keep a lot of water. And he made his camels kneel down outside the city by a well of water at an evening time. The time when women go out to draw water. So the whole time, we didn't have like the pipes and the faucet. You know, if you want to get water, what do you go? You go and you just go to the kitchen. In the whole time, it wasn't like that. They had to go to the river. They had to go to the lake to get water. Okay? And usually at night time, after the sun is uh, less uh, powerful, they, the women, they go and they get water, okay? Then what happened is, so that we don't take too much time, what happened is, the servant, he says, from these women, 
I'm going to ask them to give me water. And the woman that not only gave me water, you had a question? Abraham's servant, not Abraham, Abraham's servant was taking the camels. He took the camels, he was by the well, and the women were getting water, and he said, I'm going to ask the women to give me water. And the woman, who gives, who not only gives me water, but also took all my camels, then ten of them, then she will be God, if she is, if a woman does this, then God is telling me this is Isaac's one. How many of you think you is this a hard mission or an easy mission? Why? Ten camels. How much water do they drink? A lot. So she has to. What does she need to do? Go to the well, drink, get water, drink for one camel, go back and go. It might take her hours. Who knows? And so, when there was a woman, her name was Rebecca. What was her name? What was her name? Rebecca. Her name is Rebecca. Bamalanya Rebecca. And she comes, and he sees her, and he asks her, Can you give me water? And he said, Yes, my Lord, I will give you water. And then, she said, Not only for you. I'll also give water to all your ten camels. She was going to the well, getting that water, coming back, and giving it to one camel, two camel, three camel, until all the camels were satisfied. How hard do you think that is? Did you have to do? Very hard, right? But who did God send? The angel. God sent the angel and he prepared this wonderful woman. For who? For who? For Isaac. Because Isaac sacrificed himself for who? For God. Because the father of Isaac was so obedient to God. So because of that, God was so kind to him. And the servant of Abraham was mesmerized, was just watching her silently and thinking, how kind is God? <coughs> Are you with me? How kind is God? And so, next week, we will finish the story. Glory be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I will ask you next week what we learned. Glory be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.